Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Lena Hardware. More than a channel, we are a community. Heart Squad, I got a good one today. I got a really good video, especially if you are a fan of Pokemon nostalgia, you are gonna love today's video. I just received a box, and inside this box, there is a vintage Pokemon clock. And it's not just any clock. This is a clock from like 15 years ago, over a decade ago, and did I mention it's worth over $400? Stairs again? This is like, as I'm awkwardly going down the stairs right now, this is a big deal because this clock that I got is a Pokemon Cuckoo Clock. And it is worth $400 to $500. Yeah, it's a big deal. And today, I am not only gonna open it, but I am gonna play you something that is very, very special specifically for this one that I got. And it is like new in the box. I'm so excited about this, but it's right over here. Behold, in all its glory. Wait, let me move it out of the sun. Behold, in all its glory, this box contains one of, if not the rarest Pokemon clock you will ever find. And it's in this box. Heart Squad, are you ready to open it? I should probably stop going like this right now. Got the clock right here. We are going upstairs to my room and we are gonna open it up, Heart Squad. And if you guys can, please do leave a like on this video. And if you love Pokemon nostalgia, vintage Pokemon collectibles, as I'm dodging like an obstacle course, touchdown, touchdown, touchdown. Have my scissors and we're gonna do my best to continue opening up this box right now. So I kind of took off the top layer of the box before I started to record again because Honestly, vlogging and trying to open up a big box is much more difficult to do than you think. Especially this big camera that I have. Yes, you right there. All right, let's open the box. Ooh, look at that cutting job, Leonhard. Good job. Ta-da! Ooh. Bubble wrap. Wait a second. Wait a second. Okay. This, this is, this is, this is awkward. I don't know how to even pop bubble wrap right now. Come on. Okay, another idea, another idea. Are we ready? Well, that's a work in progress right there. So guys, in this box is the cuckoo clock. And I, and, uh, whoa. I got my morning paper. If only I knew how to read Japanese, so that's gonna be kind of a problem. I think that's pretty much it, but ooh. Little comics and stuff, that's so cool. I don't even know where this actually came from. It didn't come all the way from Japan, if that's what you're wondering, but here is the box. And uh, before I get to opening it, the, uh, the person told me uh, that it came with everything a like new Pokemon Cuckoo Clock would come with. And this is the Pokemon Center one, so this is the most rarest one that you can get. And I am so excited about this. So, we are gonna continue as I begin. Will we be able to see the clock? Ooh, more bubble wrap. All right, this is a, uh, let me see if I can take it out somehow without. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. We got batteries! I wonder if those are the new or the old ones. I'm not exactly sure, but let me kind of set up shop real quick. Okay, I awkwardly set it up right here so I can take it out and use both of my hands. Karate chop. Uh, here is the box over here. You can kind of see it on the corner. So I have not seen this myself, Heart Squad. This is gonna be my first time seeing it. This is probably the first unboxing ever on YouTube for this clock, but I know there are clips of what the clock can do, but you're gonna get the full show here at Leonhardt. All right. Wow, oh, there's some cool stuff at the bo box. Did I say you can close? No, all right. Here it is inside this. Are you ready to see one of the rarest clocks for Pokemon ever? Ta-da! More bubble wrap, yay! Okay, here we go. I'll actually try to open it up. Ooh, there is tape on here. Let's see, getting it, getting it. Okay, here we go. Oh my gosh. 
There it is. Get a closer look at that. You don't need to look at me. Wow. There's going to be some assembly required with this thing because I don't see it in there, but there's supposed to be a Pidgey that's in this part. There's a little pendulum that is going to be going back and forth, so I have to put that on. But you are seeing it. It still has the stickers. Not sure what any of that means, but this is so cool. Does it play? Let's see. Okay, so I'll have to put the batteries in. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. But you got the Psyduck on the back. You got Diggly, Oddish, Bellsprout, Squirtle, Eevee even. So for you Eevee lovers, you get, you get the whole thing. And it says Pocket Monsters. Now there's a different version that says Lovely Cabin right here. But that, there's multiple versions of that one. And that one's going for less money on eBay right now. This is uh, the rarest one uh, from my knowledge that you can get. So we are going to have to uh, see what else comes in it. And then I'll assemble it. So we got more bubble wrap, so that's very nice. Oh, wow. It comes with the original instructions and it says Pocket Monsters on it. So that's pretty cool. And so uh, I guess it kind of tells you how to actually assemble it. So that will be very necessary. Um, I'm thinking that's basically it other than the pendulum itself, which is right over here. Oh, wow. Oh, this is awesome. Doo -doo 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 -doo. They're saying like and subscribe, obviously, but you got Togepi and then you get Pikachu. And this is the thing that is going to be going back and forth at the bottom of it. So we have to kind of attach everything and make sure. So let me see if that is everything that is supposed to be in this box. I think it is. Pretty sure that is. Now, they put some batteries. Yikes. Anybody want to say that these batteries are very, very expired. Look at the bottom of that. Ew, it's all moldy and stuff. But I gotta say, if you're the person watching this and you sold it to me, like kudos for you for saving like the original batteries. And this is the original box with the original instruction manual. Now let's put it together. Okay, so I took the back off of the thing. I'm gonna need to put some, I need to put some new batteries in it. Uh, I did just put the Pidgey. So there's the Pidgey. Brr, brr. Yeah, so that thing's actually gonna be moving back and forth. So that's really, really cool. And then I just need to install this at the bottom and then put the batteries in and we are gonna test this bad boy out. Let's see, so this is going this way and this is probably gonna go like this. Doing this with one hand is very difficult. Okay, so I'm doing a little flying right now at the top of my room, but I set it up just for like show purposes and this is awesome. Are you ready for this, guys? Are you ready for that? Be sure to leave that like because this is awesome. Guys, that was the coolest thing ever, and it plays three more songs. Are you guys ready for more Pokemon Nostalgia? Let's listen to more songs. Encore! Encore! It must continue! I don't know about you guys, but I am loving this right now. We got to play the last song if I haven't already played it, guys. Ready? Here we go. Guys, 
I don't know about you, but either I just spent way too much money on a clock, which is checkmarked by that, but who cares? Because we are all massive Pokemon fans, and the nostalgia that comes with this clock is like un. President, this is awesome. Please be sure to leave that like, guys. The Pokemon Cuckoo Clock. Let's play it again. Well, Heart Squad, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing of the rarest Pokemon Cuckoo Clock. I can't even say it right. Cuckoo Clock. And uh, this thing is in mint condition. I am so honored and I just love it that I can share this experience with you guys. Hopefully everybody watching is feeling like a little kid again because the songs that this thing played, especially that last song, I, well, the first one was iconic. Let's just be frank there. But the last one I was like, I have not heard that song in who knows long. Probably like as old as, as this clock. I think the clock came out in 2001 or 2003. Yeah, don't quote me on it, but it is from the Pokemon Center. It has pocket monsters on it. It has the stickers. If you can read Japanese, please do let me know what the stickers say. Not exactly sure, but I just got to say this thing is awesome and I'm so excited to be putting it up in my studio. This is my room obviously, but it'll be in my studio. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this opening. Please check the eye right over here for some more vintage Pokemon card openings and vintage openings. It's just gonna be incredible, so be sure to hit that subscribe button, guys. My name is Leanheart, stay awesome, stay positive, and as always, I'll see y'all in my next video.